Okay, uh, here's another um, early botanical thing. Early botanical magazine is actually what's called two pages from the um, called it botanical magazine. Um, and this is uh, 1782. I'm reading it correctly. Um, so this is after Linnaeus. And so this is a magazine where new species would be published. So it's more or less um, scientific. And what's kind of amusing is that the flowers, well, um, Legionella, tricolor, it's the, uh, the name, the flowers are remarkable. The, the base is medieval, in, in my opinion. So I think the um, apprentice did this and the master did this. But um, this is, we're in the copper plate. Um, yeah, I'm going to say copper plate. Copper plate. You can see the, the border um, going on there. And so the description is... Let's see. Um, a lot of this is not really used so much, but um, anyway, it describes it. Describes the uh, where the, the the genus came from, or where it is published, and uh, which is kind of the convention now. This is a um, somewhat Latin description, and then we have a little paragraph, well, a couple of paragraphs. Um, which, being that we're in 17, I'm going to say 89, um, has still got some interesting conventions. So, uh, to Mr. Lee of the Vineyard of Hammersmith, uh, the first, and we are, and as we understand, the only nurseryman as of yet to, um, propagate, proliferate of this plant which has been lately introduced into this country from the Cape, that would be the South Africa. We are indebted for the present specimen, uh, Mr. Joplin, uh, who has figured out and described it in uh, Acta Helvetica, gives us the name uh, Lanchinella in honor of that guy, um, however you wish to pronounce it, uh, very eminent Swiss botanists, and a particular friend of the late uh, illustrator Halser. Uh, our readers should be informed that it has been, that it had before been called by two different names. Uh, Iantha, Iantha, Ianthus or orchidoides, and Formium um, aloides, which is bizarre. But anyway, under the ladder which it is now uh, stands in the 14th edition of Systema um, Vegetatum, as well as that of Lanchinella. Uh, the trivial name of tricolor it receives from three colors observed in the flowers, but it must be noted that it is only in the middle of the flower, only in the middle period of its flowering, and that their three colors that are highly distinguishable. So, this is the convention of the lowercase s looking like an F is what's making this difficult. The brilliant oranges at the top of the flower die away. The spots on the leaves uh, also, which when the flower uh, plant is young, uh, gives the appearance of an orchid, orchis, or an orchid. Uh, as it advances into bloom, it, be it becomes less and less conspicuous. And so forth. So, which actually describes it quite well. 
So this is something you can actually get a hold of. Um, there's a number of uh, species in this genus, and it's a, um, a lovely South African plant. Um, but anyway, it flowers in spring, but it's, let's see, but it's blooming. <laughs> um, is accelerated by warmth of the ouch. But anyway, 